Russo's brand family. We are family. Hello, everybody. Welcome to In the Pits here on Russo's Family Channel. I'm Big Josh Hinkle, everybody's favorite brand member, the heart and soul of the brand. You love me, you really love me. And it's time to try to break down this Monster Energy Cup Series All Star Race weekend from Saturday. Vince would say, oh, wait, hey, it's very complicated I'm trying to break this down. There was like the open race where all the ineligible drivers who didn't win or who were mostly slow, they raced their way into the race. And then there's like the fan vote and then all the pageantry and stuff. And which it's not the same pageantry like in the past when it was the Winston. No, one hot night, the old days, 1992, first race aired on TNN. Where uh, Davy Allison won the race, but him, Kyle Petty, wrecked the start finish line. Davy Allison, the winner, hits the wall, but he was sent to the hospital. I mean, those were the days when they had the fireworks and stuff. They didn't have one damn bit of fireworks last night at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I mean, there wasn't no pageantry, it was just the Monster Energy girls looking hot. Pulling up the signs of all the drivers and all the teams throwing out hats and M&Ms from Kyle Busch and uh, you know, Coca-Cola giving out to people. But I want to say this about Alex Bowman driving the 88 car. Took the hat off his head, gave his actual hat to a little boy in the crowd. That right there is the classiest thing i ever seen in my life. So let's get started trying to break this down for you guys. Bear with me here. The open race, three stages, the winner of the three stages makes it to the all-star race. The first stage winner, Alex Bowman. And this stage two winner, Daniel Suarez. And then the third winner, the winner of the open taking the checkered flag, is AJ Allmendinger. But the, the fan boat goes to Chase Elliott. He's just like his old man, Bill Elliott, Austin Bill, Austin Bill, sorry. Damn son's got my brain fried today. Austin Bill from Dawsonville. I mean, Chase Elliott's got his father's blood in him. I mean, he's going to be a popular driver again, just like he was back in the day. Bill Elliott was, I mean, damn. And now, let's talk about the all-star race. All the pretty Monster Energy girls, the hot ones, pulling up the signs, wearing their tight leather pants, and they're showing their belly button with the, like, the leather shirt, half shirts. And mainly, the parents still complaining about how the Monster Energy girls are not conservative and look like total sluts. I, for one, am all for it because they even say at the National Monster Energy is an adult beverage. <laughs> and yet they, keep, like, yet, they complain about the girls that dress like tookers. <laughs> it's so effed up, people, but it's funny to laugh at, but some of it's kind of true, though. But anyway, let's get to the open, the all-star race. And let's just say, there was no pageantry. It was just the energy girl, Monster Energy Girls bringing out the signs of all the drivers. And then the one, the Monster Energy Girls sang the national anthem. Really did a good job. But when they sing the national anthem, they sound like Christina, Christina Aguilera. Ugh, shit, I hate that. And, like, and the whole mouth of the move their lips and stuff. It drives me up the freaking wall. I mean, it sound like Britney Spears taking a shit on somebody. You can't be singing like a pop singer. You gotta make it your own version of the national anthem for like millions of people. But she did a good job. 
I give the girl credit. And now let's try to break down this wild all-star race, which it had the brand new restrictor plate engine package, which they did it at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Really? New package, new rules of the race, and uh, I'm going to break this down to you the best way I can here. On in the pits, let's see if I Here we go. Talk about the first race winner, stage winner. Let's see. Can we find the. Uh, there we go. Kevin Harvick was the stage one winner. And then Kyle Bush, second race winner. Then Kyle Larson was the third one. And last but not least, Kevin Harvick wins a million bucks. And here's the results. I'm just seeing 80, 80, 83. Just, yep, Kevin Harvick wins the All Star race. The end of stage 250. Uh, yep, Kyle Bush won that one. And it's in stage one. And it was Kevin Harvick. Okay. Just getting my facts straight. Just give you guys the right results here. The winner of the race, Kevin Harvick, wins a million dollars. Second place, Daniel Suarez, who won stage two of the All Star Race Open Race, wins a quarter of a million dollars, 250 grand. But the one thing that was highly inappropriate was uh, the commentators, Mike Joy, Jeff Gordon, and Dan and uh, Daryl Waltrip talking about uh, Daniel Suarez's nationality. It's like uh, he won such and such money pesos and stuff. I found that kind of inappropriate because you don't know how many people from Mexico watch NASCAR, and yet you talk about pesos. You know, you don't know if Daniel Suarez is more monorail. Modernized American to where you know he loves dollars, not pesos. But you talk about his nationality on the air, which I find that a little inappropriate. But I know I had to turn off the TV afterwards because it was just cringe. You know, I'm sorry to Mike Joy, Jeff Gordon, Daryl Walter, big fans of them for a long time. But you don't talk about so much nationality, and uh, you know they want such such pesos. Really? Now, yep, he won $250,000, but what other times are we living in these days? Oi, hey, Spencer, so would say. Third place after the controversial spin out of Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, which they got until wreck. Joey spins out the 42, and, and he almost in the third stage, and, uh, he did deliberately, but it is what it is. It's four million bucks. They do whatever they can. Fourth place with Denny Hamlin, Chase Elliott, the fan vote winner. Fifth, Jimmy Johnson, sixth. Then Kyle Larson recovers for seventh. The open winner, AJ Allmendinger, eighth. Kyle Bush, ninth. Casey Kane, after coming back from three laps down, finished in the top ten for a small NASCAR team that I'm not a fan of. Because they cheated me out of a NASCAR picture two years ago at Christmas, which I will not support that team. Ricky Stenhouse, Austin Dillon, James McMurray, Matt Kent, Pole Center, Ryan Blaney, Ryan Newman, Truex, Kurt Busch, Clint Boyer, Brad Keselowski, and Alex Baldwin. They had to extend the race because overtime. Because there was like the big one had took out seven cards at the end for right before Harvick wins the race. It was a hell of a finish at the end, but you know, Harvick goes on to win, and it was just technically this not being a non points race, sixth win of the year for Kevin Harvick. Who can stop the four team going into the Coca Cola 600 next week, Memorial Day weekend at Charlotte Motor Speedway? I will cover that race on In the Pits. Uh, just a little side note, 
I'm going to cover mainly just the big races of the year like I did the old format when I started back in July of last year with the Daytona, Indianapolis, and all that. I'm going to go back to that format because I have a lot of things going on in my family right now. And I won't try to go back to that where I had it the first time. And I'll bring my one, two races review a week or a month on In the Pits for you guys and gals. And uh, just let everybody know, um, June 17th, I will be at Bristol Dragway for the NHRA race on Father's Day weekend. Want some drag racing. I'm going to try to meet some drivers. My dad and my sister are going to be there on Father's Day. You know, I'm going to have some fun. Got to get my tickets at the ticket booth. And uh, it's going to be a great time. If Mother Nature kills that race. I'm going to be really pissed off. Because Mother Nature killed my dreams of going to Bristol back in April. So Mother Nature don't piss off big Josh Hinkle. But again, now congratulations to Kevin Harvick. And then uh, the truck series ran the night before. And Johnny Sauter, third race win of the year. Congratulations to Johnny Sauter on his big win at Charlotte. I mean, he's going to be the champion again in 2018 for the truck series. I hope he wins it. I've been a Johnny Sauter fan since the 2002 so, uh, yeah, he's been in the sport for a long time, struggled in the Cup Series and the Expanded Series, but he's coming back strong in the Truck Series. So, good for him for winning Charlotte. And, uh, again, congratulations to Happy Harvick winning a million bucks. Daniel Suarez winning a quarter of a million dollars. And I thought his interview, Daniel Suarez, he handled it like a pro. Very proud of that guy. Wins a quarter of a million dollars. Hats off. Great race. And on to the Coca-Cola 600 next Sunday. Memorial Day weekend tradition for over 60 years. So it's going to be a good race next Sunday. Longest race of the year. And I will cover it on In the Pits. So in the meantime, everybody, this has been In the Pits. I am Big Josh Hinkle. And I will catch y'all on the racing flip side, everybody. Big Vito, X-Force, Victory Lane Pose. Deuces.